So it's well known that in this region of the world, as well as in many other regions of the world, First Nations communities and indigenous groups moved around frequently in the past. Not only did group movement depend upon changing seasons and access to resources, but marriage often meant individual movement from one's home community to a spouse's community. For many of the people living in these communities, this meant that where they were buried was often a long ways away from the place that they called home or where they grew up or where their families were from. For archaeologists, this poses a unique problem in that it makes returning human remains to their descendants a difficult task. These communities would like to see their ancestors and relatives returned and reburied, but where to rebury them and who to return them to are questions not easily answered. There are methods of determining where a person is from based on certain indicators in the human skeleton, but the methods to look at these indicators are costly and they require a the destruction of a piece of bone, which is something prohibited by the community and therefore precludes the return of the remains. And this is where my research comes in. Portable X-ray fluorescence, also known as PXRF, pictured up on the left there, is a portable and cost-effective tool, but most importantly, it's 100% non-destructive. It's proven itself in the realms of geology and museum studies and can effectively quantify and analyze substances and give us a signature of what types of elements are in the substance and how much of each element. For many of these substances, this elemental signature can be then mapped to a place of origin and tell us where, where things came from in the past. However, this method has yet to be tested on human remains. My research applies PXRF to an assemblage of human remains from Pender Island here in BC. And even though it's in its infancy, it shows that this tool holds great capability as a bioarchaeological analytical tool. I've already been able to identify some of the people within the Pender community who may have suffered from anemia based on low levels of iron. And I hope to see comparable results for other elements and use these, these elements and their amounts to understand where these people came from in BC. So the tool holds a lot of application for people in archaeology, but also in other fields, such as forensic sciences. Uh, it's important to communities like those of First Nations who would like to see their ancestors return, but it also may be important to help solve forensic cases or to help repatriate fallen soldiers. For these people and their families, it's important to have the remains returned and reburied, but it's also important to be able to bring these remains home unharmed and unchanged. Thank you.